Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another fantastic day on planet Earth. You know, I've decided that I'm going to do some videos on retirement because I've retired. But yeah, it's, I suppose it suddenly hit me that, oh dear, I've retired. What do you do being a retired bloke in Thailand? Well, whatever you want, basically. Uh... Today I'm going to go to Jom Tien Night Market because I need some new t-shirts. So I'm going to get the finest quality ones for about three quid each. And I might even get some food while I'm there because it is a night market. It's a food and clothes and bric-a-brac. Bits and pieces of this, that and the other. So we're going to have a trip down there and find some bargains I suppose. That bloke there. He works, he's got a scooter garage, repairs and everything else, he's an absolute workaholic. He starts at about 10am and he doesn't finish until about 2am at 4 in the morning. <laughs> I want to address something as well. Um, some people think that the rose tinted glasses are fading. Absolutely not. Because I knew, I did all my research, I did abs absolutely everything before I ever came to Thailand. I love to see families on motorbikes, I love to see girls like that one, side saddle. Oh, it just completely, I'm bewildered how the hell they stay on those things. So no, the rose tinted spectacles, I never had them on. I, you know, I love everything about Thailand, it's 32 degrees and it's, it's half past seven at night. I'm out in shorts and a t-shirt, going to find some bargains at a night market which is on every single night. And the place is full of happy, smiley people. They're all happy. They're all smiley. They're all welcoming. They don't... No. No. I did not have rose-tinted rose -tinted spectacles on. I love everything about Thailand. And no, it's not wearing thin. There aren't any points that I can find negative. There are very slight niggles, but they're not negative points. Now our class of negative point is a sort of a unique thing that can... Oh sorry, excuse me, what the hell was that? I class a negative point as something that can only happen in Thailand. Something that only happens in this country. There's a lot of things that happen in this country that happen in other countries as well, like the UK. But I don't class them as a negative point. There is nothing uniquely negative about Thailand. And that is what I love about it. I have loaded myself with so much mosquito repellent, it's unreal. Um, my skin is just one layer, complete everything. Just one layer of mosquito repellent. Hard for money, so hard for you, honey. Hi, uh, 95 full, please. Okay, cup and cup, thank you. So, no. I, I have not got rose tinted spectacles on. I I love everything about Thailand. I, I love this, this complete, total and utter freedom that I've got. I can go out when I want. I can do what I want, with who I want, where I want, how I want. And there's no... I love that! There is no limitation on what I can do. What the, you, you, you are not limited by anything. They've got better better roads, they've got better services, they've got absolutely everything in this country that you could ever want. Everything you could need ever is at your fingertips. You can guarantee, you know these 15 minute cities that are on about. Well over here that, that was already that was already a thing a long long time ago. If you want something you can find it within 15 minutes. It's not a problem. You know, you want beautiful wiring, there you go, there you have it. I still maintain that the roads in, Th in Thailand are a lot safer than the ones in the UK. I mean, you're not, you don't have traffic congestion over here. It's very rare that you see you know, loads of traffic and traffic and traffic. Um, and if you do get traffic, you just go to the, straight to the front of the queue because you're on a scooter and these red green boxes here are for scooters. So, as long as you know the rules of the road, which everybody does seem to strictly follow, if you weren't born with common sense or you weren't taught com talk common sense, then you're not going to survive over it. But they'll go on two. 
They can't wait for one, they have to go on two. Look, there you go. Honestly, I find these roads a lot safer than I do in the UK. Hey, where's he going? You see, expect the unexpected. Ooh, two stroke. Lovely smell of delicious two stroke. And it's an unrestricted two stroke. Not like the shot you get in the EU. Bloody, bloody strangled them to death with emissions. I'd love to have an old RD350 LC. No, or the LC. Yes, the LC. Or even not the LC. Just an RD350. That looks to me like car parking. It says car parking. So we'll go in here. And, and, it's free. Right, I've got to go through there. Yes, right. Right, how many times have I said f right? Stop saying right, Tony. Everything's not right. Right. <laughs> anyway, off we go. There's no one here. Just me. better right when you go out shopping for something it does work a lot better if you bring your bloody wallet <gasps> what do you have I need plain 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 okay like that we have some of the extra I think large extra large no t-shirt not not okay oh, I don't want pink okay. No, I want. I not want pattern. No, no pattern. It's pattern. They all do pattern. I not want pattern. I can say that. This one, okay? No. No, they they have pattern. Okay, thank. Will that fit? Your size. Yes. Okay, that. Yes. Is that my size? Yeah, your size. How much? You want to talk more right there? I want to have to talk. No, no, I've got shorts. Okay, short. uh, have more talk behind you. Behind. I have this No, I, I have lots of shorts. I have lots. Fine. You have Tulsa? Tulsa? No, I have. I'm fine. No more! <laughs> No more, no more. I come back another day. Huh? I come back. Good deal, that was a hard sell. That was a really hard sell. I think she was the one who got this t shirt off. And she tried to sell me the store basically. Mm. I didn't show much of it, but I bought three t-shirts. Three t-shirts for, what was that, 200? Three t-shirts for six, six pounds. And also, I got the obligatory. These two bags are full of meat. I got half a, I don't know what it is, a slab of chicken, a slab of pork, and some um, chicken crunchy, what's that? I don't know what they are. <laughs> There's a lot of it. For 100 baht. 100 baht. £2.20. Mm. Hi, boy. What's that bike? That looks nice, I like that. Is it shaft drive? No, chain drive. That looks nice. Phantom 200, is that all they are? Is it single? Is it single or twin? 
single. A Honda Phantom 200. I use Google Lens for a lot of things. Really do. And it's always correct. People have actually questioned whether Thailand is safe. I've never seen any problems whatsoever. Not with the locals anyway. You know, the, the fights that break out are with bloody phalangs who come over here and get drunk and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so many massage places up here, it's, it's unreal. But I, I never go to them. I go to the one that I know, you know, the one that can sit, sort my problems out. And I know damn well they will. So I don't I don't I don't wander around to other places because it just does not make sense. Massage everywhere. Another massage. Another massage. <laughs> another massage. How many massage places are there around here? The only trouble is you never know if they're a happy ending place. And I don't... I, I will not go to those places because I want medical massage to, to sort my problem. Another massage place. But the trouble is, they've got wise to this sort of a thing, and it used to be anyone, if they didn't wear a uniform, another massage place. If they didn't wear a uniform, then it was a happy ending place, that was the rule, but now they've all started wearing bloody uniforms. So, you, you haven't got a clue what the hell you're dealing with, basically. Another massage place, another massage. I want a barber. I want to eat my chicken and my pork and everything else that I bought. I haven't got a clue what it is. I just bought it. Oh, I saw loads of Thai people buying it, so I thought, sod it, I'm going to buy some of that. You know, people say that John T. N. and, and Pattaya, it, the, the nightlife is dead. But no, it isn't. No, if you come over here right now, I can guarantee I can show you one hell of a night out because there are places people crowd frequent. Now, also the bars that, that have got no girls in, or you know, they've got bloody three girls in there. You could have the time of your life with those three girls just for a laugh and a joke and, and loads and loads of fun. So, you make your own fun. You know, you you don't have to go into these bloody crowded places, these places are still here, it's still the same, it's just that there's nobody here. So you make your own fun, you find your own places, and is that the police? Hey, to me, John Tien, if you want a night out, John Tien is an absolutely fantastic place to come. It's not as busy as a city, and you do get a lot more for your money. You, you know, they've got, they've got um, they've got gentlemen's clubs all, all the way along here with beautiful girls in. Some of the stunning, most stunning girls I've ever seen. Gee, there's so many places that you can go here that have got nobody in them. You could make an absolute lifetime memory in one of these places with just two or three girls in. You honestly could. That's a Honda Click 160. That's what I'm, what I'm going to be using as my base for an absolute beast. Anyway, I've got three t-shirts. I think they're my size. I hope they're my size. They look like my size. But you never know with that woman. She just forces them on you and said, Yes, yes, your size, your size. Off you go. It's half past eight at night. It's 32 degrees. I'm out on my ADV 350 that people keep still keep asking me what what make it is what model it is it's a honda adv 350 and if you open the throttle yeah it goes for a 350 it really does go i am going to start showing you that the resort because it's a beautiful place it's it's an absolute it's the picture of paradise it really is the picture of paradise and and, and it was even now, it's just, you wake up every morning and it just makes you happy to be alive. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this content about being retired. And I'd like to remember that life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you got to do 
Just get out there. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you smile. And bollocks to what nobody else thinks. I was just going to try and shove it in my mouth and I thought, oh, oh, I've got my helmet on. <laughs> Love you all, lads.